Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do RBI circulars from month of uh, January 2023 till August 2023. So this is really really important for IBPS RRB scale 2 scale 3 exams. So MCQ format mein karenge, MCQ format mein karenge. Sare questions apne ek place pe lake rakh diye aapke liye. So we'll be explaining all the questions. Very important question for your exam. I hope 2025 minutes में ये sessions session complete हो जाना चाहिए उससे भी जल्दी हो जाएगा I guess. So MCQ format में है I would highly recommend कि आप conceptual videos भी देखें link is available in the description right. My name is Raman Deep Singh and I've been teaching on bank exams today from last twelve years. This is my WhatsApp number and conceptual videos are available in the course IBPS RRB GBO Scale Two Scale Three course right. We are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, test series, power capsule and super set in the course. But anyways, you should do this. What is the maximum amount that a resident individual can remit under uh, liberalized remittance scheme LRS per financial year for any permissible current or capital account transaction or combination of both. So uh, automatic route pay up maximum a individual kitna uh, jo hai paisa bhej sakta hai right it is uh, two lakh and fifty thousand us dollars so uh, let me just hide my face so that you can concentrate on the content right so it's two lakh and fifty thousand dollars which of the following statement is true about remittances to ifsc uh, so it's ifsc gift city under lrs so there is a recent not recent yes at mehne purana rb circular hai so re resident individuals ca uh, can keep lying idle funds in their FCA foreign currency account in IFSC for more than 15 days without repatriating them to India. So pehle allowed nahi tha, now it is allowed. Pehle allowed nahi tha, now it is allowed. You can keep the money for more than 15 days uh, in your account, in your FCA account. Okay, so C is the correct answer. Which of the following statement is true about general credit card facility? What is general credit card? So it is a scheme that provides working capital facility to whom? To non farm entrepreneurial activities that are eligible for priority sector classification. I hope you have priority sector lending. PRL, uh, priority sector uh, lending ka lecture dekha hua hai, master circular hai, RBI ki guidelines hai ki kuch certain amount of money jo hai, wo priority sector ko deni hai, agriculture uh, aati hai, usme renewable energy aati hai, education aata hai, uh, to wo aap ek bar zarur lecture ko padhe, right, bohut important hai, working capital facility for non-farm entrepreneurial activities, which are eligible for priority sector classification, उनके लिए जनरल क्रेडिट कार्ड फैसिलिटी जो है स्टार्ट करी गई है वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अच्छा प्रोडक्ट है थोड़ा नाम याद रखें एग्जाम में आ सकता है हाउ मेनी टीयर्स ऑफ यूसीबीज अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक्स आर देयर इन द रिवाइज्ड रेगुलेटरी फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ आरबीआई बड़ा ही इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन है चार टीयर्स हैं अब एंड टीयर्स आर अकॉर्डिंग टू द डिपॉजिट साइज ऑफ द यूसीबीज ओके सो मोटा मोटा डिपॉजिट साइज के अकॉर्डिंग कैटेगराइजेशन करी गई है अगले क्वेश्चंस में पूरा डिटेल में भी करवाएंगे सो व्हाट इज द रेट ऑफ प्रोविजनिंग फॉर स्टैंडर्ड एसेट्स इन कमर्शियल रियल एस्टेट रेजिडेंशियल हाउसिंग सेक्टर सो प्रोविजनिंग कितनी रखनी है यहां पे 0.75 परसेंट पॉइंट कमर्शियल रियल इस्टेट रेजिडेंशियल हाउसिंग सेक्टर के लिए uh, this is lower than the commercial real estate sector, which is 1%. Okay. But higher than the rate for direct advances to agriculture and SME sector, which is 0.25%. So please remember that what is the rate of provisioning for standard assets, commercial real estate uh, for ho residential housing sector ka 0.75 commercial ke liye, uh, jo hai real estate ke liye 1% direct advances to agriculture and SME 0.25% yaad rakhe provisioning. By when do the it's while tier one UCBs have to achieve the provisioning requirement of 0.4 on and ye jo hum pichle bata rahe the, this is for urban cooperative banks please remember that so on uh, by when uh, the tier one urban cooperative banks have to achieve the provisioning requirement of 0.4 percent on all other loans and advances not included above <clears throat> Now, here above, Wali Hani, 31st of March 2025, 
बट ये जो प्रोविजनिंग है ये जो पिछले पॉइंट में दी थी ये सारी प्रोविजनिंग है दे नीड टू डू दैट बाय थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव ओके अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक्स को ये थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव तक जो है करनी पड़ेगी विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट एन एलिजिबल एंटिटी नॉट एन एलिजिबल ग्रीन एक्टिविटी और प्रोजेक्ट अंडर द आर बी आई फ्रेमवर्क फॉर ग्रीन डिपॉजिट ग्रीन डिपॉजिट्स एक नया एक काइंड ऑफ प्रोडक्ट है सो so बेसिकली uh, जो ग्रीन एक्टिविटीज नहीं है न्यूक्लियर पावर जनरेशन इज नॉट अ ग्रीन एक्टिविटी सो इस फंड में वट द कमर्शियल बैंक एंड एन बी एफ सी इज आर गोइंग टू डू दे आर गोइंग टू रेज फंड ग्रीन डिपॉजिट्स राइट एंड दे आर गोइंग टू यू नो गिव लोन्स फॉर द ग्रीन एक्टिविटीज लाइक सोलर पावर जनरेशन वेस्ट टू एनर्जी कन्वर्जन ग्रीन बिल्डिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन विंड एनर्जी न्यूक्लियर पावर जनरेशन इज नॉट अ वट इज ए ग्रीन एक्टिविटी ओके प्लीज नोट दैट द मिनिमम डिनोमिनेशन फॉर ग्रीन डिपॉजिट्स अंडर द आर बी आई फ्रेमवर्क फॉर ग्रीन डिपॉजिट्स सो दैट इज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज इज द मिनिमम डिनोमिनेशन फॉर ग्रीन डिपॉजिट्स अंडर द आर बी आई फ्रेमवर्क फॉर ग्रीन डिपॉजिट पचास हजार की मिनिमम डिनोमिनेशन है एंड देन फर्दर इन द मल्टीपल्स ऑफ फिफ्टी थाउजेंड पचास हजार एक लाख डेढ़ लाख That, that way uh, the money can be accepted which of the following entities are eligible to accept green deposits under the RBI framework for green deposits all the scheduled commercial banks and the deposit taking nbfcs including hfcs they can take money for green deposits okay and what is the name of the declaration form for uh, foreign exchange transactions under liberalized remittance scheme fam तो डेक्लेशन फॉर्म फॉर्म ए टू होता है आई होप आपको पता ही होगा फॉर्म ए टू इज द नेम फॉर द डेक्लेशन फॉरन एक्सचेंज की ट्रांजेक्शन के लिए एंड वॉट इज द डेड लाइन फॉर अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक टू कम्प्लाई विद द मिनिमम नेटवर्थ रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ टू करोर और फाइव करोर अगर एक ही डिस्ट्रिक्ट में काम करता है अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक इफ द अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक इज ऑपरेट इज ऑपरेटिव इन ओनली वन डिस्ट्रिक्ट then the minimum requirement net worth requirement is 2 crore if it is in multiple districts it, it is 5 crores and they need to achieve it uh, by 31st of march 2028 okay uh, what should be included in the wire transfer if the originator or beneficiary does not have an account number if they does not have an account number a unique transaction reference number is required okay in the absence of account unique transaction reference number is required and what is the name of platform launched by ministry of msme to facilitate online registration of informal micro enterprises so informal micro enterprises till date they were not able to register not able to get the udyam certificate <clears throat> now a new platform udyam assist platform has been launched so that the micro enterprises can get the certificate easily What is the new rule introduced by RBI on levy of charges or fee on forex prepaid cards, store value cards, travel cards? So whatever the forex card that you take along with you uh, while you go for a trip or a, on a tour, okay? Uh, the banks what they were doing they were levying the charges in foreign currency in USD and then they were charging extra money as conversion charges there was a there was a spread so bahut sare charges laga rahe the so rbi said you have to levy the charges in indian rupees you need to levy the charges denominated in indian rupee ab indian rupee mein charges lagaiye us dollars mein mat lagaiye what is libor so libor it is a key benchmark for abhi india mein itna abhi use karna band kar rahe hain gradually band kar hi diya hai a key benchmark for setting the interest rate charge by adjustable uh, rate loan mortgages and corporate debt it is a scandal hit uh, london interbank offered rate so scandal hua we are not uh, going to discuss it today but abhi isko use karna kam kar diya hai so what uh, we are using i mean we are uh, we have started using secured overnight financing rate uh, what is a widely accepted alternative reference rate that rbi has as a banks and financial institutions to adopt by 1st of july to complete the transition from libor to myfor so hum sofor use kar rahe hain secured overnight financing rate what is the purpose of section 42 subsection 1a of rbi act so iska purpose hai ki uh, the rbi can ask the ask the banks to maintain additional crr over and above the crr requirement 
जुलाई में हुआ था आर ने मई जून जुलाई में आई गेस हुआ था आर बी आई एज़ बैंक्स की इन बीस दिनों का जो भी डिपॉजिट मिला है उसका आपको टेन परसेंट ज़्यादा सी रखना पड़ेगा वॉट एवर ओवर एंड अबव यू आर एग्जिस्टिंग सी आर आर यू नीड टू मेनटेन एक्स्ट्रा सी आर आर सो दैट्स दैट्स वॉट इट इज़ सेक्शन फोर्टी टू सब सेक्शन वन ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दिस ईयर एंड वॉट आर द गाइडलाइंस इशूड बाई आर बी आई टू इंश्योर रीजनेबलनेस एंड ट्रांसपेरेंसी इन द डिस्कलोजर ऑफ पीनल इंटरेस्ट बाई रेगुलेटेड एंटिटी इन इंडिया penal interested what banks were doing in case somebody was uh, defaulting the loans koi loan ko default kar raha tha to uski interest rate change kar rahe the 12 se 14 kar diya 12 se 18 kar diya so by that way the borrowers were you know incurring a lot of losses and the banks were not resolving the uh, issues so rbi said you cannot charge penal interest you can only charge penal charges and those charges should be reasonable okay and guidelines to promote reasonableness in the imposition of penal rates so penal rate interest rate to charge nahi kar sakte penalty mein aap penalty mein charges uh, charge kar sakte ho wo bhi reasonable hone chahiye interest rate aap change nahi kar sakte according to the rbi in notification on fair lending practices penal charges and loan account will banks and other lending institution be allowed to levy penal interest no they are not allowed they'll be able they'll be able to levy only penal charges not the penal interest the minimum net owned fund requirement for idf infrastructure development fund uh, nbfc as per the revised guideline minimum net fund uh, net owned fund requirement 300 crores hai very important question hai net owned fund requirement for idf nbfc very important question <coughs> What is the minimum tier one capital requirement for IDF NBFC as per the revised guideline? Ten percent minimum tier one capital requirement. How much is IDF NBFC? Is for ten percent. And what is the maximum percentage of total outstanding borrowings that an IDF NBFC can raise through shorter tenure bonds, shorter tenure bonds, and commercial papers? Total outstanding borrowing, how many are there in IDF NBFC? उसका कितना परसेंट शॉर्ट टर्म बॉन्ड से जो है रेस कर सकते हैं मैक्सिमम जो है टेन परसेंट रेस कर सकते हैं जितना भी लॉन्ग टर्म है उसका टेन परसेंट आप शॉर्टर टर्म टेन और बॉन्ड या कमर्शियल पेपर से रेस कर सकते हैं एंड व्हाट इज द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ स्पॉन्सर ऑफ आई डी एफ एन बी एफ सी एज पर द रिवाइज गाइड लें ऐसी कोई रिक्वायरमेंट है ही नहीं है ओके विच टाइप ऑफ एन बी एफ सीज आर एलिजिबल टू स्पॉन्सर आई डी एफ म्यूचुअल फंड विद प्रायर अप्रूवल टू आर All these, all NBFCs are eligible. They can, you know, uh, sponsor the IDF mutual funds. And the RBI on 10th of February 2023 released guidelines on issuance and use of UPI by foreign travellers and NRIs visiting India. So in the beginning, the members of G20 nations would be uh, would be you know able to uh, to use a UPI in India. So foreigners and NRIs would be able to use UPI. <coughs> and uh, which company which is the first uh, company in india that would provide the product to to the uh, nris or foreigners to use upi in india ebix cash uh, provided uh, is the first company to allow to allow you know, nris and uh, foreign tourist in india to use upi so upi would be you know this facility would be uh, available to the tourist foreign tourist foreign nationals and the nris as per the rbi guidelines what is the definition of major shareholding in a banking company very important what is a major shareholding in a banking company aggregate holding of 5% or more of the paid up share capital or the voting right so both are important share capital or voting right in a banking company by any person is major shareholding and as per the latest rbi guideline what is the lock in period That means the share cannot be sold. Share को बेच नहीं सकते उस period तक. Shares acquired in a banking company, if the share holding in the company is more than ten percent but less than forty percent, अगर share holding दस percent से ज़्यादा है, चालीस percent से कम है, पांच साल का lock-in period है, पांच साल तक आप shares को नहीं बेच सकते. Okay. So what is the maximum cap on voting right of a person uh, in a poll of a banking company? एक बैंकिंग कंपनी में किसी भी पर्सन का 26 परसेंट का वोटिंग राइट है वन पर्सन कैन नॉट हैव अ वोटिंग राइट ऑफ मोर देन 26 परसेंट इन अ बैंकिंग कंपनी से ज़्यादा वोटिंग राइट नहीं हो सकता सो प्लीज़ रिमेंबर दैट दैट्स रियली रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट 
As per the latest RBI circular, what is the deadline for banks to complete the process of renewal of agreements for existing safe deposit lockers? So safe deposit lockers ke agreement do teen bar update ho chuke hai and some banks are even doing it online now. Uh, I guess Canara Bank is doing online. But by 31st of December uh, 2023, uh, these agreements have to be uh, completed. The agreements have to be completed. Which of the following is a significant benchmark as notified by RBI? So MIBOR, MIFR, uh, Treasury Bill Rate or MM MIFR, uh, Modified Mumbai Interbank uh, Forward Outright Rate. So please remember the full form. Uh, that's also very important. MIBOR, MIFR or M MIFR. In ki sari ki aap, uh, full form bhi yaad rakhe. So these are significant benchmarks administered by FBIL, uh, the F Financial Benchmarks India Private Limited. It's a subsidiary of RBI. So overnight Mumbai Interbank outright rate MIBOR, Mumbai Interbank forward outright rate MIFOR, USD INR reference rate, treasury bill rate, valuation of government securities, valuation of uh, state development loans, modified Mumbai Interbank forward outright rate. The RBI prescribed revised norms to categorize UCBs as financially sound and well managed uh, banking entities very very important RBI circular so I guess bahut sare latest exams may be RI which of the following criteria should be satisfied by the urban cooperative bank the CRR CRAR should be at least one percent point above minimum CRAR requirement of a UCB net NPA of not more than three percent no default in maintaining CRR SLR during the preceding financial year CBS is fully implemented all these are criteria please remember this ye wali slide ko ab dhyan se dekhe crr ye bhi ho chuka hai question mein uh, net profit for at least 3 uh, out of 4 preceding years uh, and not having incurred a loss in the immediate year no default in maintaining crr slr sound internal control system with at least two professional directors cbs implemented no monetary penalty has been imposed on the bank in the last two financial year by RBI. So, let's go sare ko yaad karke chale. Uh, financially sound and well managed banking entities. UCB ki category tabhi milegi jab ye achieve kar lenge. As per the latest urban cooperative bank categorization circular by RBI to which category and UCB will belong if it has deposits of more than 12,000 crores. Tier 4. So please remember this, all units, uh, UCBs and salary are now UCBs and irrespective of the deposit size. So that is tier one. Unit C, uh, UCBs and salary are now UCB and all other UCBs having deposits up to 100 crores, tier one, 100 crores to 1000 crores, tier two, 1000 crores to 10,000 crores, tier three and more than 10,000 crores, tier four. The deposits referred to above shall be reckoned as per audited balance sheet as on 31st of March, uh, of the immediate preceding financial year. So basically, ye aapko yaad rakhna hai. Ye charo tiers hai. please remember that. Please take the screenshot if you want to. And what is the minimum net worth requirement for an urban cooperative bank operating in more than one district? So that is five crores. If it is operating in one district, it is, I guess, two crores, right? And what is the minimum CRA requirement uh, for a tier two to tier four urban cooperative banks? It is 12%. It is 12%. The RBI has asked banks to make enhanced disclosures related to material items in their notes to accounts. So this question was asked in the previous paper. Uh, RRB ke nahi. I guess Bank of Maharashtra mein aaya tha. Ye question bahut important hai. Bahut sare question is class mein se uh, recent ke 3-4 mahine ke exams mein aaye hain. Jo scale to scale 3 level ke hain. So enhanced disclosure related to material items wherever any item under the head other liabilities and provision and other assets exceeds how much of the total asset one percent of the total assets say agar exceed karti hai koi bhi liability koi bhi asset to uska additional disclosure lagega okay and the rbi has decided to migrate central payment fraud information registry ye paper mein aaya tha cpfir through which scheduled commercial banks and the ppi can report the payment uh, frauds. The name of the new platform is Daksh. Daksh is a uh, new platform. This platform is going to replace CPFIR. Okay. And what is the ceiling on individual housing loans for tier one urban cooperative banks? 
टीयर वन अर्बन को ऑपरेटिव बैंक मैक्सिमम साठ लाख का जो है इंडिविजुअल हाउसिंग लोन दे सकते हैं एंड दैट्स आई गेस सॉल्व फॉर डे स्टूडेंट्स आई वी वी एस आर आर वी स्किल टू स्किल थ्री आप सुपर सेट को जरूर पढ़ें बैंक एग्जाम स्टडी डॉट कॉम पर यू कैन गेट द सुपर सेट पावर कैप्स्यूल सो इन दिस लास्ट फोर फाइव डेज आई वुड हाईली रिकमेंड कि आप सुपर सेट पक्का पढ़ें एंड वी आर वी आर गोइन टू अपडेट दैट एज वेल टुमारो मोस्ट प्रॉबेबली द सुपर सेट एंड द पावर कैप्स्यूल वी आर गोइन टू अपडेट इट टुमारो एंड वी आर गोइन टू एड दिस पी पी टी इन द सुपर सेट डोंट वरी एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेक द कॉस्ट आई बी पी एस आर आर बी स्केल टू स्केल थ्री कॉस्ट यू कैन गेट इट फॉर थर्टी डेज ओनली If you want to do that, you can get it on bank exams today. You'll be getting video classes, notes, essay series, power capsules, live sessions, and interview preparation guidance in the course. And links are available in the description. And this is a WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts, and we are going to answer your doubts. And list of our successful students. All these students who took our courses in the past and they cracked the respective exams. I'm really, really happy for them. So you can be one of them in the future. If there is any doubt in your mind, drop us a WhatsApp message, and we are going to answer your doubts. and that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day we covered the whole session within 21 minutes i knew that we are going to do that uh, that quickly so that's all for today students if there is any the doubt drop a whatsapp message and i'm going to answer everybody and that's all for today students thank you